Our eight-legged friends are everywhere. If you can think of a place, chances are spiders can live there. But don't worry, I'm sure you don't have any near you now. They're likely to wait until you're fast asleep for making their way to your sweet, unsuspecting face. And speaking of unsuspecting faces, let's see tonight's makeup. Okay, first things first. So I got this prosthetic from MostlyDead.com and it came with its own little teeth, but I decided to make my own out of glow-in-the-dark Sculpey. After those were made, I then wanted to remove the eyes so I could put the LEDs in. I started out by using scissors to roughly cut the eye forms out. Once all the eyes were removed, I then took a form to see how much of the foam had to be removed. Just keep trimming away the excess and testing it here and there till it's how I want it. And just as a note, I did end up heat forming some plastic over this clear dome that I had because I wanted something thinner that would be easier to manipulate. Once all the excess foam is trimmed out as best as possible, I then took a wood burner and making sure that it wasn't too hot to burn the foam. You just kind of want it to melt and smooth it out. If you do this step, make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area or wearing a mask because the fumes are pretty nasty. Basically going around and smoothing the areas that I trimmed so that the domes will be able to sit better and it will look more like an eyelid. Then for the LEDs, I use NeoPixels from Adafruit and I'm just going to position them with a little bit of tape into about the center of each eye. Then take a Sharpie and mark where each one goes. Then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and wire each NeoPixel. I'm not really gonna go in depth with how to program or set these NeoPixels up because I'm still learning, but eventually down the road, that might be a tutorial I will be making a video for. After they're all wired and soldered, I tested it out to make sure that they would all light up and that my connections were all good. I took the heat formed plastic domes that I made, then put a little bit of iridescent material and then placing that over the NeoPixel to help hide them. And I sealed the back of the eyes with some latex soap paper towels and that helps keep it in place. Now for the makeup. Go ahead and put on a latex bald cap. I did use Prozade this time around. I get my ears out and glued them around the openings and covered my ears with Prozade. While waiting for that to set, I glued my brows down with a glue stick. Apparently I was at the end of it, so the piece kind of just fell out and I was too lazy to grab a new one. Now that the glue is dry and tacky, put on some Woochie Latex Gremlin ears. I'm putting Prozade in the center of my face and get the nose in position first. Gradually work my way out, gluing in sections. Once I get the edges glued down, use some paper tape to conceal the wires along my neck. Then stipple the edges with latex, also over the tape. Took a Q-tip with some Prozade to blend some areas further. Powdered around my eyes with Skin Illustrator Zero Color Powder. So my eyelids or my lashes won't get glued while I seal the prosthetic. Stipple the prosthetic with some Prozade to seal for paint. With Bow Buggles Pro Classic Color Number 2 palette, use the gray for a base, not worrying about covering everything. This is just one of many steps to build up some different textures. Spattered some of that gray to break up the blotches of color. Using the Skin Illustrator Grunge palette, took prairie dust and heavily spattered over everything. Back to the palette, this time with DIN and a detail brush, bring up some of that sculpture detail. Next, put DIN in an airbrush and started to really flesh out the areas. After that, started painting figure eights all over the open areas to help tie everything in and finish the color off with a quick spatter. This time using sand out of the Skin Illustrator Grunge palette, spatter over the whole area. Next in with the Bow Buggles Pro palette, use the Rust Red to airbrush larger shadow contours. Also did some noodling texture like we did with the gray. Starting to create some markings by creating blotchy stripe patterns. 
sealed everything with Skin Illustrator Zero Marble Sealer. And continue building up layers with the Bowbuggles Rust Red. Grabbed some Skin Illustrator in black and created the markings moving out from my real eyes. The idea was to mask my actual eyes and make the LED eyes the focal point. Put the black markings in the middle of where I use the rust red more heavily. Taking an orange sponge and the Skin Illustrator sand color, add some texture to the high points. Bringing it back past the prosthetic to help it tie it all in. Spattered some Skin Illustrator Dark Brun into the shadow areas. Followed by Black Illustrator. I'm concentrating the spatter around the markings. To bring back some of the rust red along the markings, paint in some very blotchy patterns around the black. And seal it all with Zero Marble Sealer again. With the Collective Cosmetics shade Abyss, Put in some soft shading around the eyes and deepen some of the larger textures and add some more contour. Went back to the black illustrator to darken some of the areas. Then with the skin illustrator white, lightly rake it over the high points. And stipple some of the brighter points with an orange stipple sponge. Took the rose color out of the Bow Buggles Classic Color Number no. 2 palette and lightly spattered all over. Then with a the brush, applied it to the nose and eye area to make them look like more delicate tissue. Clean the makeup off on the eye forms with some alcohol and get them nice and shiny. Move on to Coven from the Skin Illustrator American Horror Palette and put in some little fleshy pieces in the corner of the eyes and paint in the waterline. Use capillary out of the American Horror Palette to put a few darker red splotches around the coven color. A little more coven. Touch up some of the black areas. And like magic, scaleras are in. Use Kat Von D Beauty Lash Liner on my waterline. Finish coloring around my eyes with the Collective Cosmetics Abyss Shade. Glue in the sculpy teeth I made. Then with Skin Illustrator Love Shine, sponge on some shine to the prosthetic and then spray all over. And now you're all creepy. Then just flick on those LEDs for some fun. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you will check back in to see the rest of my Halloween series tutorials. See you next time.